Hello, this is Pam Gunderson, host of Union Ministries Bible Study and Christian Prophetic News. If you would like to be a missionary by proxy and see that other third world countries receive these notifications for these Bible studies, please click subscribe and then click the bell so that they will be notified of the up and coming scripture verses. Thank you for this courtesy and do a like and a share as well to help your brothers and sisters in Christ who are under duress. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Sister Pamela Gunderson. Your scripture verses for Daily Manna today are Joshua chapters 17 and 18, Psalms chapter 45 verses 6 through 17, Proverbs chapter 14 verse 6, and Luke chapter 12, verses 1 through 31. This is April the 14th. God bless you and have a great Hello, day. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm going to peek in here for a second. I already have put the scriptures up and I uh, have edited what I wanted in the last video. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I'm alive What's going on is I have planted some findings and it's been snowing, it's been hailing. I am uh, cutting and doing snap green beans to get them ready for pressure cooker cooking and uh, some new potatoes. So it's a busy day, plus my car had a flat tire. I'm also having the camera put on it. So, uh, uh, so I'm hoping that you are reading your scriptures. I hope that God is blessing you abundantly. And then you'll go ahead and see the rest of uh, the other part of the video. It will have the sinners, uh, uh, not the prayer. If you want to receive Christ, you know the ABCs. It's on the end of the video. You will see my information as well as you will see the benediction. Anyway, God bless and you have a wonderful uh, day. I'm not going to give the date. You will see the date on the front of the video because every time I do that, I got to go in and change it. Anyway, uh, I will let you know though it's during the I week. Come in and do this so that you have the scriptures for the yearly reading. I just cannot, I can't carve out the time right now because of the busyness and what is uh, going on in school. I will tell you that, um, let me uh, share with you a couple things I've been doing. Uh, Sunday, our pastor asked, uh, 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 was doing a share -a at a station that he uh, works with, and they uh, somebody had bowed out. And so I did something that probably, I felt it was the Lord, I did it out of, I wanted to be a help, but I didn't count the cost and I didn't do due diligence. I have not sung in front of anyone other than this camera for years. Uh, I think the last time I sang in front of anyone was the uh, prayer breakfast. Um, gosh, it had to have been around maybe 2012, 13. This is 2022. So, I wanted to sing uh, God and God Alone. I could not find the CD. I overdid uh, yesterday and my feet got cold and my throat got tired. And I ended up without having the song memorized, which um, isn't easy for me. Uh, sometimes I can have it memorized and I'll have the words in front of me. These people were very, very gracious. I was very, very terrible. And I felt very, very bad, like I had um, humiliated them. But as I was driving, and the, uh, the uh, uh, let's see, do I have, okay, the words to Refiner's Fire starts out, uh, there burns a fire, let me get my glasses. See, I don't even have it memorized now. <laughs> Terrible shape. There burns a fire with sacred heat, white hot with holy flame, and all who dare pass through its blaze 
will not remain the same. Well, the Lord set me up. And because, as they said, it's a small station, even though it goes all over the United States, uh, and I don't even have that channel in my house anymore because I need to save money because of expenses and because of expenses and all the things that I'm doing. And so I had to shore up some uh, expenses and make sure that we were not going to be hurt by my excessive spending on materials that I believe that we will need, which I will share with you. I believe from all of what I'm hearing that there is, Biden has already said there's going to be a, sh a food shortage. And I believe him. Today, on the 5th of April, Obama has stepped into the White House. Prophetically, I agree that he will take Biden's place. Trump might come in for two seconds, but I believe because in the sh the, of the shape that Biden is in right now, that at the very least they will impel uh, Obama to come in and take over until the next election. Now how that's going to work out, I don't know. I'm not going to say who I think he is because I can't prove it. But all I know is this morning I'm driving to my hair appointment, well actually at noon, and I'm still feeling bad. I said, oh Lord, I did such a terrible job. And it was, oh my God. The Lord, I heard him literally say, who are you working for? And what are you working for? What is your purpose? Now, he doesn't say that, I'm adding it, but it kind of goes, what is your purpose in life? Do be, to become a star on TV? To become another Jan Crouch because this will show on PTL? No, you were not in your good voice. If I had wanted you in your good voice, Pamela, then you wouldn't be going through the refiner's fire that I have set for you right now. Because yesterday I started. I started that refiner's uh, fire so that you will not remain the same. I have many weaknesses and faults, but the Lord has forgiven me. I, and in the song it says, Though my life was etched with sin, his mercies he forgave. His mercy. And the very end of it is my sole desire is to go through the refiner's fire. No matter what I lose, I choose to go through his refining fire. And you out there who are resisting the fire and want to play, please don't take this the wrong way. There is a price to pay to be a Christian. And as my pastor said, they don't like us very much. They don't like us at all. And they are intent on getting rid of as many of us as absolutely possible or change us into liberal thinking where sin is good and good. And Anyone out there who has not accepted down. the Lord as their Savior who is watching this video, I pray that you will accept him. All you have to do is admit that you are a sinner, A, B, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and see confess your sins. And if you will do that, the Lord will forgive you and you will start a new journey. Uh, he takes it pretty easy on the new Christian. I've been a Christian for a very long time and now, now the fire, uh, obviously John the Revelator went through the fire. So I don't know why that's up. <laughs> I'm looking at stuff here. So I'm going to wish you adieu, a good day. I'm going to, uh, we will go ahead and um, my, you'll see my information at the end of the video where you can reach me. Uh, and of course you can always call me at 833-PAM-TALKS or 833-726-8255. You can uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 email me at pam at you and him, 
uh, ministries, youandhim.info or you and him, Pam at youandhimministries.com. It's been a while since I've done this. Uh, I don't retain things very long if I haven't been doing it. And our address is 10, um, uh, it'll be at the end of the video. I'm not, I'm not going to mess it up. Uh, but it's Aberdeen, Washington. And uh, then let's go ahead and do the benediction, <coughs> which is Jude chapter 1, verses 24 through 25. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of his glory with rejoicing, to the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. May his face shine upon you. May his face shine upon you. Folks, time is growing short. We know this is, let me play with something here while I'm on here with you. Time is growing short. And you get you need to get your seatbelts on. And the seatbelt is the Word of God. You need to be sitting in the Word of God, and it needs to be sitting in you. Uh, if you are um, not getting some extra food while you're out, I would suggest you do that at uh, every shopping trip. Start thinking about your pantry. If uh, the food shortage starts and the uh, fertilizer is not coming in because of the Russia Ukraine you have to realize that gardening is going to be uh, at a premium seeds uh, if you see some gardening seeds I would get them and put them away you want probably hybrid uh, hybrid and heritage seeds maybe not for this year but for next year get some soil in if you don't know how to garden Go out there and plant something. Make the mistake now so that you can learn how to do it. If you uh, don't know how to make bread, if you have a bread maker, great. But also get your hands in the flour and the dough. Find out ways that you will be able to sustain, uh, sustain yourself during what I believe is a, a Joseph situation. We've had good years through Trump and now we're going into a period where we have someone who seems to have a problem understanding that all he has to do to stop this gas shortage or height is to open up the Canada price uh, pipeline and then there's another pipeline you might want to ask yourself if he's president of the United States and he's shutting these down. Who whose orders are he, is he taking? Anyway, we're into 13 minutes. I wish you adieu. I uh, bless you. And I am Pam Gunderson, host of You and Him Ministries Bible Study and, and uh, Prophetic News. And I will see you again tomorrow. If you don't see me again tomorrow this way, and this is the same video you see, I'm under the gun. But you will see the scriptures up. The same place that I put them up uh, these last two uh, times I mentioned them, and then I will come and go as uh, uh, as I can. But the Lord's plan, obviously, is not for me reading the scriptures. This is something you need to do, and I enjoy it. And you can listen to these scriptures. They're there. You can pull up anybody online or on your uh, phone that's reading these scriptures so that you can read it with it in your uh, in front of your face. Hold it in your hands and hear it with your ears. That way you'll be able to retain it. Then journal. Then the Lord will be able to speak something into your life. Right now, I have got all kinds of books and scriptures that I'm having to study. So don't worry about me not reading the daily word. I want to make sure that you have it, though. God bless you. I love you all. I miss you all. Some of you I know in person. Anyway, God bless, and I will see you manana, either with the scriptures or in person. God bless.